Hello and welcome to Light Assault video guide series. My name is Iridar and today we will be talking about Light Assault basic strategy. There are three key aspects to achieving success as Light Assault. Positioning skills help you find a superior position, a place that has a clear view of the enemy while providing you with cover and safe escape route. In the following examples, I'm going to use this color scheme. The protagonist player is marked by green, allies are blue, and the enemies are red. The lighter version of the color is used to mark somebody's former position. Imagine a light assault in a flanking position. Enemies seem to be occupied with dealing with his allies on the other side of the building. The allies arrive from the spawn point beyond the top of the picture, and the enemies protect the objective located beyond the bottom of the picture. This objective can be a generator, a capture point, or a sunderer. If this light assault has no positioning skills, he will follow his first instinct to move closer and start shooting. Maybe he will even take out one or two enemies. Then the following will likely happen. Either he will be shot by another approaching enemy or the enemies will turn to him and riddle him with bullets. In this case, light assault player put himself in a position without cover and he has nowhere to go once enemies start shooting. Notice how light assault's position cuts him off from his allies. Now let's return to the first picture and see what would happen if Light Assault had positioning skills. He would jump jet to the roof and shoot enemies from there. While in this position Light Assault is still not exactly next to his allies, he's not too far off from them either, and he can retreat to them if he needs ammunition or medical attention. This is what positioning is. Finding a position that is within your weapon's effective engagement range and provides either or both cover and quick escape. Mastering this aspect of the Light Assault is very important, because Light Assault has no direct combat advantages, like Heavy Assault's shield, so you have to rely on your wit and mobility. Second aspect is Firepower, an ability to efficiently kill your enemies. There are two ways of achieving Firepower. The first one is raw damage. Use a high DPS weapon, like a CQC Carbine, SMG or a Shotgun and engage enemies that are within its maximum damage range. For example, an enemy is guarding a ladder, and Light Assault is located 15 to 20 meters from the enemy. If the player has a CQC Carbine, he can take out the enemy right away. However, if he is equipped with a shotgun or an SMG, he has to get closer first. A player with poor positioning skills would attempt a direct assault, run up the ladder and shoot the enemy in the face. Instead, he should use the ladder and railings as a cover, then fly up on his jump jets and blast the enemy point blank. This way you can dispatch enemies very quickly, but you have to engage enemies up close, which leads to obvious dangers of being exposed to several enemies at once. For this playstyle you need lightning fast reflexes and high end PC that can sustain a high level of frames per second. Second way is accuracy and precision. Use any of the following weapons. With them, you can achieve high levels of DPS by ensuring that most of your bullets hit, especially if you aim for the head. But remember that you are not a sniper. All carbines lose a great deal of damage at range, so don't try to move yourself away from combat. For example, these stats show that T5 AMC precision carbine at 39 meters is as weak as an S11A precision assault rifle at 65 meters or further. This playstyle doesn't require high levels of FPS from your PC, unless you're very close to the enemy. But obviously you need to learn to control your weapon. The best way to do it is go to the VR training and shoot for half an hour, training to suppress your recoil. You have to keep in mind the effective range of your weapon and engage enemies only when they are within this range. One of the most common mistakes light assaults do is install high magnification scope and a forward grip on their CQC weapon and try to engage enemies from afar. This isn't firepower. Firepower is using your weapon at the right range in the right way. The third aspect is stealth, hiding your position or even the fact of your existence from enemies. Alternative application of stealth is misdirection, letting enemy to believe you're in one place when in fact you're in the other. This is also called mind gaming. To maintain your position unknown to enemies, you have to merely follow these guidelines. Stay away from routes used by regular infantry and change position immediately after shooting. For example, 
Light Assault engages enemies below, and then escapes to regain stealth. Or he could jump down the side of the building, round the corner, and flank enemies again. His choice depends heavily on situation at hand. This is another example of mind gaming. Light Assault player is under attack. Luckily, he manages to get away in time. Then he uses jump jets to get on the roof, flanks the enemy, and escapes to regain stealth. This is the art of stealth, the most reliable way of increasing Light Assault's lifespan. So these are key aspects of Light Assault's basic strategy. Move yourself to a superior position, have as many effective engagements as possible, escape to regain stealth, repeat. The guide is now concluded. My name is Iridar and I'll see you next time.